The Living and the Dead was a helpful title for me because it kind of means everyone and it means everything. It's connected as well to living somewhere and painting my surroundings and painting, uh, making art about things that I'm seeing all the time that are consciously or not kind of always present, you know. I've always liked the idea that a piece of work can tell a story to anyone experiencing it. And they can usually, uh, certainly with my work, uh, work out what came first and what came second and what was readdressed. I don't really paint things out. I just get rid of them enough. That wallpaper and maybe other elements that might be part of the installation, they attempt to be a place that all this stuff has come from. And uh, one of the things I liked about the stripes and the rainbow is that maybe like the title of the show, there is an element that it's everything, you know. I suppose for, for a lot of painters, they're making decisions about what to do next and stuff. And uh, certain, certainly some of those decisions are about colour. And this is not a decision about colour, because it's all the colours. I'd been listening to Under Milkwood a lot, walking around um, and trying to match that with what I'm seeing and what I'm very familiar with. And everything kind of becomes a play. You know, there's a painting around the corner that refers to audience members in the foreground and some kind of activity going on in the, on, a, on a kind of stage. And it's, it's not really clearly mapped out, but it just occurred to me that to put some of these characters together, what's the right kind of environment to put them in? And a play seems kind of right. But maybe there's something I like about what I'm thinking about with my paintings right now and the idea of theatre in general. Everybody has an understanding that this is completely unreal. Do you know this idea that uh, you can be so involved in something but when somebody steps out of character it spoils it? Or I don't go along with that. I think that there's a, like a constant idea that this is all for show but it still means something very profound, you know? The bigger idea of, of doing a show which is about one, one work as opposed to many. So that idea of doing something that big and ambitious is connected to this show. And I wouldn't probably be doing it if I wasn't showing in that venue, you know? So that's kind of one of the things that it means to, to get the opportunity to show in Temple Bar is that I get a chance to work for a very long time towards something that's very ambitious, you know? I do like to keep myself amused and interested and maybe there is a little part of me, if I'm being very honest, that likes the idea of spending a long time considering form, shape, composition and other more interesting, maybe, elements to the paintings. And then having made all those decisions and worked hard at them many times, many pieces of work, putting them on a wall that kind of doesn't allow people to see a lot of those decisions. Up close, it can be very aggressive visually, and I think maybe further back it could blend. I'm not sure how keen I am for anyone to concentrate on any one of these. If I manage to execute an idea that I have for a work and nothing else really happens apart from that idea, then that is wrong and has failed in some way. But I also find that, uh, to, to, to counterbalance that, that if you're working on something that's based on some half-baked idea and new things happen along the way or accidents or you, you realise that it, w it needs to change and it needs to change this way or because of what you painted on, on top of, it has a role to play in it that something, some element brings something to the table that you hadn't preconceived. That is usually more often than not a sign toward be something being exciting. And when something's really exciting and potentially confuses you, different or unplanned, then they're all, they're all ingredients, I suppose, in a recipe for how to make something good. <laughs>